Hi, welcome to Laura Swindora. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super cheap wreath. So I got these sticks from my awesome neighbor. She was pruning her uh, curly bush. I can't remember what, what kind of bush it was, but it's very curly branches and stuff. And she's like, oh, Laura would know what to do with these. So she gave them to me. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take out all of the buds and the leaves. The stuff that will eventually pretty much die. So you're going to remove all those and then you're going to cut them to about um, the most you want to cut them lengthwise is probably three-fourths of a foot and this will help with the shape of the wreath, the round wreath. If it's too, if it's longer than that then you'll have a lot of like sticking out branches and stuff. So I trimmed them all down to about that size, some smaller, some a little bit bigger. Kind of just eyed it, and then I mapped out where I wanted to place them. Once I mapped them all out in the shape of a wreath, I got out my hot glue gun, and I just started gluing all the crossing branches together. And I just glued, 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 glued all the way around. And then I turned the wreath over, and I did the same I just made sure it was really secure. So after you hot glue that all together, let it dry, you kind of pick it up and make sure it's pretty stable, not flimsy. You don't want it, you know, falling apart on you. Two Joann's, and they had their floral section on sale for 60% off, and I got just one stem of these cute white flowers. I cut the stems long, wide, like long, and I'm not gluing them into the wreath. I'm just kind of sticking them in, and because they're so long, that kind of secures them and also secures the wreath more. But also, if ever the wreath falls apart or whatever, I can pull those fake stem flowers and reuse them somewhere else. And that's how I did it. So the wreath cost, the flowers costed roughly around $3 to get. So I made a beautiful wreath out of $3. Pretty awesome, huh? One beautiful wreath done. And you know, since I didn't glue the white flowers to the wreath, I can pull them out and add fall flowers for when it's fall. You know, Halloween decorations. You don't ever want to glue the fake stuff to the main wreath part because you can always pull it out and reuse them and add a different color to your wreath. Hey, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this.